Hey, how's it going, bros? This is Pirpa. You are doing me the great honor of joining today for some corpse party, Book of Shadows. あの子<笑> ここは気を強く持って娘さんはもっと辛いのです。今我々が見放してしまったら彼女を守ってあげられる人はいなくなる。私も可能な限りバックアップします。一緒に元気な顔見ちゃんを取り戻しましょう。はい。ありがとうござい
it's that Seiko. Oh, it is Seiko. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> and we are back in the world of Capes, buddy. This time, Book of Shadows. What an intro. So, uh, for those of you bros who don't know, um, that was Naomi, one of the main characters from the first game, who I guess survived without her friend who died in, in the world of Course Party. Seiko, she... In my story, she lived, though. But there's different endings, and I'm guessing they, they're gonna keep going as if she died, and anyone who died in that world... Uh, no one else remembers when they come back. Or whatever. So, there they are. Se Seiko is the one that buttered the pooper, right? Or was it the opposite? <laughs> oh, nice. We got some kawaii shit going on ahead of us. <laughs> we got some sugoi motherfucking butter pooping. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, the, the first game was really awesome. It was a total mind fuck. What, what is that? Like, I don't even know. I hear this one is even more fucked up in, in the perverted ways. And... Because uh, I talked to Minx and she played it and, and she, she told me There might be some parts where I'd have to censor So Yeah We'll see We'll see how it goes uh, I'm always excited to be sharing these adventures with you bros and This looks like a little That will be a great one So Why don't you Pop some popcorns Snuggle up in your covers And tickle your nips Don't do that please That's weird I mean, you can do whatever you want, but actually not whatever you want, but, but anyway, Book of Shadows, here we go. All right, so here we are at Cap's Petty, Book of Shadows. Um, I can either play this with or without the voice acting in the game. I thought I really liked the voice acting in, in the first game. It was really, really good. Uh, but at the same time, it might be kind of weird to just listen to that all the time, so... I don't know. Let me bros know what you think. But for now, let's start a new chapter. The first one, Seal. And not the cute one, probably. Damn it. Ah, what lovely weather. I wonder how Ayumi's faring at school today. What the fuck kind of- Who speaks like that? I hope she's enjoying herself. Who's he know anyway? The spirit seems unusually active again though. And there's that old sense of unease too. The same one Ayumi and I have been feeling all our lives. But stronger than ever. I don't like it. Not one bit. Ayumi, I remember, I think. I can sense its presence. It's gotten very- very close. But that's preposterous, right? I'm probably just imagining things. Maybe it would be best if I talk with her about it. I only hope nothing bad happens. Oh, it will! Oh, wait, Wilson. No, wait. Owen, oh, uh... Book of Shadows, episode one. Seal. Flop! Mm! See? It's much better when I do the voice acting. Because <laughs> then you get that shit. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> I threw down my bag, collapsed into the bed, and stared up at the ceiling. So this is Naomi. These were my... These were my familiars! The familiar lighting... No, I can't. I'm sorry. The familiar patterns I knew so well and that familiar stain in the corner that my uncle pooped on. I remember when my dad made that stain. Oh, your dad pooped. Okay. It was my 15th birthday. It was my 5th birthday! Jesus! Yeah, they're so young in this game. It's so weird. And he just opened a can of soda I'd been shaking. Why were you shaking a soda? Staring at my ceiling was something I've done a million times before. Probably not, because you're like five. But today it felt strange. Like i just come from doing the exact same thing. Hmm. How curious. The hell is that puppet doing now? It's creeping me out. The green one. What the fuck? And I'm not talking about the general act of lying in bed and looking up, but a more specific sense that I'd experienced a singular moment when once, in time once before. Ah, there's Ayumi. 
She looks identical. She was in the first game. I believe the term you're looking for is déjà vu. Supposedly, déjà vu signifies that a new destiny has just been born within you. I hear déjà vu just means that you weren't really paying attention. <laughs> or that. So congratulations, Nakashima. You may be a whole new person now. <laughs> See? Much better when I do it. So, said the class rep, making lights of this situation in her usual creepy way. <laughs> oh yeah, she's into creepy shit. Uh, but maybe she was right. I had been more cognizant of my actions since then. Who talks like that? Usually, if I pay too much attention to every little thing I do, I begin obsession. Obsession. Yeah. And then I just give myself a headache and end up calling it a quits. But this dish of it was real. And it was far stronger than it had any right to be. What the fuck? This wasn't your run-of-the-mill spooky feeling. It was all-encompassing. <laughs> Seiko! Mm! No matter where you, where you go in this house, it all smells just like you know me. What the fuck? Is this heaven? <laughs> I swear, Seiko, doesn't it feel like this has ha all happened once before? What the fuck is going on? What has? <laughs> you, sleeping over there. Here. And then the next day, we were both like, hey, let's go clothes shopping. Don't you remember? What the? <laughs> ah, ha, ha. Surely you just... I miss Seiko so much. Long have I th th sought to capture thee and infiltrate the walls of this holy temple. But today marks the first successful conquest. Hmm, yes. I guess that isn't the sort of thing I half forget quite so easily. Must just be my imagination. <coughs> so, Kawaii. <coughs> Finally, our flag has been planted. Seiko and Naomi together at last. You bet. This is going to be lots of fun. Um, what's all this about a flag? Oh, I think, you know. <laughs> Her boobs are giant. I'm sorry. Okay. And so began my first ever slumber party with Seiko. The moment fifth period ended that day, we tore right off school and loaded up on all the junk food drinks we could carry. Drinks? Why? Okay. Seiko and I had been friends forever, but neither of us had stayed at, at each other's house before, so we were both pretty excited. This is gonna be fun. Oh, Naomi. Did you mind if I make a quick call home? The kids know where I'll be, but I should still check in since I didn't have a chance to swing by. <laughs> Sorry, I still have a call. Sure, go ahead. Do you need to use the landline? No, no, no. My cell phone should be just fine. I'll just worry about my little poor you, you know? Oh, yeah, you. He'd be sad if I didn't at least call. No, wait. Who the fuck is you? <laughs> no problem. You do your thing, and I'll take a quick bathroom break. Eee! I exited my room, glancing behind me to see Psycho holding her cell phone to her head with one hand while flashing me a peace sign with the other. <laughs> I like the room door thing, pug thing. The mere idea that there'd be a friend waiting for me in my room when I got back was just so exciting. Don't you just feel the same way, bros? Isn't it so exciting? Oh, the things we could talk about that night. Wait, should we start? What stories should we tell? Uh-oh. Mm, yeah. Okay, looks like dad's gonna be late coming home tomorrow. You? So I'll head your way after the festival's cleanup and and all the goodbyes. Then we can get ready for dad's special surprise together. Okay, mm, yep. Give all my love to the others and make sure you all tuck in tight so tonight so you don't catch colds. <laughs> Take care, you. Eh. They holding up okay? Sure are, which means I got nothing to worry about. I can enjoy my time with you at the fullest. Sounds like you're ready to have some fun. <laughs> what the hell are they gonna do together exactly? I'll bet you are too. What the fuck? Where is this going? 
<laughs> Naomi and Seiko. <laughs> so what should we talk about? Uh, um, anything you'd like. I'm just so glad to have this blissful opportunity. What is the what? <laughs> this is so weird. Hey. <laughs> I really can't say why I felt so shy and embarrassed. Because we shipped them so much, that's why. The two of us are always together, after all. Changing the setting from school to my personal space just seemed to bring us a lot closer. I find myself staring at Seiko's boobs. I mean face, as if studying it. Did she really always look like that? This is someone who... They, okay, they're... They're... They're really into each other. This is... This is not just friendship. They're really going full fan service on this one. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, I just spit like a freaking fountain. That's all. <laughs> this game is doing weird shit to me, bro. Sorry, I'll keep going. This was someone who regarded me as a friend. All kinds of inane thoughts were swinging through my head, and for some reason, they were making me really nervous and tickly down there. Hey, you know what we've got? We got that chocolate soda. Chocolate soda?! Oh, Japan, what the fuck? Want to try it out? Yes, I would like to. Do I? Just try and stop me! Eh. I took out the bottle we'd purchased and poured it fizzy contents into two cups. It had the faintest tinge of chocolate color, but was otherwise clear. As it hit the bottom of each cup, that familiar, comfortable sizzle of carboning acid. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Rising from liquid echoed forth amidst a froth of bubbles. Who translated this? Who writes stuff like that? Well, it sure's a pretty color. But what do we do with the rest of it if it sucks? We pour it up our anus. We take it with us to school tomorrow and offer up to everyone because if it sucks, everyone else needs to taste it, obviously. <laughs> Make <laughs> we're being real nice, see? Hey, that's a good idea. Alright, here you go, Seiko. Thanks. Okay, let's drink it down on the count of three. Sounds good. One, two, three. Ugh. Damn, that's good. Before I knew it, we were up to our old tricks, talking on and on like we'd always did at school. We smiled and laughed and felt joy at the same things. Spending this time together, we could each forget all our troubles for a while. This was the kind of friend that comes along only once in the left hand. I was starting to get really sentimental, and I had no idea why. I certainly couldn't admit to her, though I'd never hear the end of it. I just keep thinking to myself, I really hope Seiko and I can be friends like this clean into adulthood for the rest of our life, even. Maybe it was the same weird sense of camaraderie one tends to feel during overnight fr field trips. I don't know. <coughs> Mr. Nagashima, this food is stupendous. Come on, Naomi, say ah. Uh, oh, oh, oh. <coughs> Thank you. You two certainly are close, aren't you? Oh, that's the mama says then. Okay. <coughs> I heard so much about you, Shinohara. That I felt I simply had to meet you one of these days. Oh, Naomi's been talking about me, has she? Oh, all the time during meals, you're always a hot topic around here. She never fails to have some story about where you two went or what you did. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> so I've been accepted by the family then. Oh, she's not the mom. She's like a maid or something. My tears of joy overflow at the prospect. I must... Be red as a beet right now. Beets aren't red, they're purple. God. Seiko? Oh, it's not just you. Naomi also loves talking about Satoshi Mushida boy. Whenever he comes up, she just gets, <laughs> oh yeah, excited. I think she likes, uh, mom. Oh, it is mom. Wait, my, what? <laughs> Sorry. Ixne on the Atoshne say, K. Is that some weird Japanese rap? What the fuck? Eh, sorry dear. Oh, don't worry. I know all about her feelings towards her beloved Mushida. <laughs> Naomi may seem like a strong girl, but she's really quite the shy one. Seiko, stop. Just stop. Well, you're certainly well informed. What you say and I have 
uh, girls nowed out sometimes? What do you say we have? Okay, sorry. I'll treat you to something good, and in return, you tell me everything you know about Naomi from school. <laughs> it would be an honor and a privilege, Mrs. Nakashima. Hey, come on now. Ah oh shit, I'm so sorry. I've drawn a bath, so you should head in while the water's still warm. I sure- I assume you'll be okay going together since you're both girls, no? This is so perverted. This is- this game is so Japanese. Damn straight! My flag is firmly planted now, the day is totally won! Huh? What are you talking about? Are, are we really going to bait together? And seriously, what's all the flag business about? Never mind that. Just come on. Mrs. Nakashima, we're going to borrow your bathroom. Roger that. Make sure you two get nice and warm. Okay. Seiko and I removed the lapels from our school uniforms on the way to the bathroom dressing area. I still felt a little uncomfortable, so I suggested we bathe separately after all. Damn it! <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't care. But Seiko just mumbled that resistance is futile <laughs> and set about taking my clothes out. With only a- she- <laughs> what the f- this, this is so weird. I'm basically reading a porno in front of you bros. A light porno. What the fuck? You bro- you bros voted for this, alright? I didn't t partake in any of- With only a few swift moments, she had my whole uh, outer uniform stripped away in no time at all. I thought- I thought this was supposed to be a horror game. Wait, she was a bo bona fide pro? A real expert at talk taking people's clothes off. Disturbingly well practiced. Okay. Ah, hot, hot, hot. Tabascus, what are you doing? Off. Oof, no kidding. The hot water at your house doesn't mess around. Yeah, mom likes to run world's hottest bath. I keep telling her that when you're soaking lower temperatures better, but she never listens. Oh well. Ah, choo! What's this? Is your body feeling chilled? Well then take this. She slide her dick inside her. What? What happened? You're going to catch a cold if you're not careful. You've got to be quicker taking off your clothes, Naomi. Come on, don't be shy. Here, look. This is so weird. This is so fucking weird. Seiko had such a dumb, self-satisfied expression on her face as she scooped up water in the basin and dumped it all over our, our heads. I think you're unshy enough for the both of us. I mean, we're the one who tore off all my clothes. Like they were paper. Mmm, well, I do bathe my little brothers every day, so I've gotten pretty good at speed stripping other people. Okay. Oh, okay, that makes sense, actually. No, it doesn't. No, it, it doesn't. It really doesn't make sense. Anyway. You need to loosen up. Here, let's take this opportunity to deepen our friendship. Alright. Yes, yes. You've thoroughly broken me out of my shell. <laughs> now, how about I wash your back? Have a seat. Oh, yes, plus. Alright. What happened to Corpse Party? <laughs> what did they do to Corpse Party? <laughs> what? Okay. First things first. They're supposed to be like 12. I, I, I'm not sure about their age, but I, I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be 12. But they're painted like their bodies are like, I don't know, at least 18. Uh, so it's just, it's so perverted. And the other thing is like, <laughs> I, I, you know what, let's just get it. Okay, I lathered up a brand new silk towel with body soap and began washing Seiko's bath, marveling at her per perfect complexion. Okay. I never noticed before just what a classic beauty she was. 
Okay. I bought this special just for you, so I hope you're enjoying it. How does it feel? Mmm. Mmm, yeah, that's it right there. <sighs> Starting to question whether this was a good idea of a playthrough or not. And that's when all language broke down and the sound emanating from the bathroom began resembling strange animus animalistic cries rather than human speech. I'm reading a porno. Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, ah! Oh. Mm, cut out, you sound demented. What do you mean? Ah! Oh. Mm, just a little further up, please. Here? Oh, yeah, right there. Oh. Am I doing a good job reading a porno? I made you itchy. I bet, alright, hold still. I didn't take long for Seiko's back to become completely involved in soap suds, but I could still detect a reaction to my every touch. I don't know how to react to this anymore. This is so fucking weird. Mmm. Mmm. They did not act like this in the first game. They did not act like this. Mmm. Don't tell me you're ticklish. <laughs> Guess the secret's out. I'm really, really ticklish. Sure. Fucking sure. Well, in that case, it's a uh, thorough washing you shall get. Yeah! You're on the offensive today, are you? Wait, stop! Kya? <laughs> Kya? Kya? Sorry. What was that? I could hear you over the sound of my furious finger work. You'll get it when you're older. I was on for sure, and nothing was going to stop me from giving Seika's back the full treatment. And next up, her vagina. After all, homeroom today was spent sitting up the culture festival, so we both got pretty dusty, and a nice scrubbing is exactly what we both needed. Haha, <laughs> stop squirming, hold cell. Oh, oh, uh, Man, Seiko, you're really slender. Your shoulder blades are incredible, like a cat's. Are they? I can't really see them, so I wouldn't know, but for you, it's all about that sexy, sexy color bone. What? You sound like an old foggy or something. But so beautiful and so big. I, um, don't think that's my color bone you're staring at. Does she have a dick? Is that- is- is that it? She has- she's staring at her dick, isn't it? As I glazed at Seiko, staring at my chest with hungry eyes, I suddenly had another flash of deja vu. An uncomfortable one. My eyes drifted through her neck. There was some sort of mark there. A bruise that wrapped all the way around. Seiko? What happened to your neck? Did you scratch yourself or something? Hmm. Something there? It's pretty faint, but there's a red mark. Hmm, don't remember injuring myself or anything. The bruise on her neck, though, slight, looked less spotty than you'd expect it were made by human hands. It seemed more even like it came from cloth. Probably a result of wearing her kimono cord tight around her neck all day from the red bean soup stand. What a shame to see her pure white skin so damaged. I hope it heals soon, whatever it is. Na 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 Naomi Hmm I can't hold back any longer L Uh what now? Alright, you know that's a this is What happened? This- what happened to Corpse Party? If you- if- for those of you who didn't see the first game... It wasn't like this, alright? This is not at all! <laughs> what? <laughs> alright, you know what, fuck it, I'm tired of questioning it, I'm just- I- I've just gotta grab that ass. Yeah? Chase on. 
Ah, Seiko, seriously, cool down, girl. I think you've gone totally mental on me. No, she just wants to grab that ass. I just can't help myself. You know, we do have a spare futon. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm fine right where I am. Two people sharing a single bed would make for a warm night, but either of us rolled over. The other was going to wind up clean on the floor. I offered the bed to her and was practically willing to spend the night on a roll-out futon, but she wouldn't have it. Well, as long as you don't feel too crowded, I guess, this is fine. As long as you don't... Freaking... Uh, it's all warm and cozy, I love it. If only I could kiss you like this, I'd die a happy woman. Alright, well, that's nothing wrong. It's nothing wrong with it. I appreciate it. It's just weird how the game changed, you know? With that, she pluckered her lips into shape resembling the number three and looked at me expectantly. What had gotten into her? <laughs> no, we better not. Happy woman or no, I'd hate to see you die. What? Ah, oh, damn. Hoisted. Giggle. Hmm? I was just thinking, this is really fun. Eh. It was around that point when I started to realize the truth about Seiko. Really, it took you that long, huh? Took you that long. <laughs> After all, if an outsider were to witness her blatant act of harassment, <laughs> that's what it is. And my complete dismissal of it, they'd assume we were more than friends too. But it's not like I was actually in love with her. I really didn't feel that way at all. I just thought of her as a very dear friend and figured the closeness was we had was pretty normal. I, Mm, mm, uh, mm, eh. It seemed more natural, in fact, that our behavior would- Edgar, stop. That would lead to a third party misunderstanding every now and again, and I just have to set the record straight. But honestly, even when situations like that arose, they were pretty fun in their own strange, silly sort of way. You know, it's the first time I ever had a friend over. Hee <laughs> hee! This is my first sleepover too. Sure beats lying in bed alone, I'd tell you what. Hey, 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 uh-oh. What? Uh, you okay? It might have slapped you a little too hard back there. You sure did put your back into it, slugger. But don't you worry, I'm just fine. Sega was rubbing her face lightly where I struck her, but smiling from cheek to cheek. Sorry again. Hey, how about I come over at your place next time? We do- What do you say? Ooh, I say yes. Yes. That way I can introduce you to the little ones. You are absolutely welcome any time. Thanks! The moonlight crept its way through my bedroom window, giving the whole room a dreamlike glow. Soon enough, I was beginning to nod off. Where was I? Was I dreaming? No. It was just my room. I could feel Seiko's warmth next to me. Is this a game, by the way? I had really... <laughs> I forgot that I haven't been playing for a single second. <laughs> or maybe I was somewhere else entirely, and this whole world, all of my life experiences, were just one big dream. Man, it's hard to form a coherent thought when you're dead tired. Okay. <laughs> well, ah, well, tomorrow's a big day. Let's get some sleep. You said it. From a sleepover right into a culture festival, we're true challengers. Heh. <laughs> Don't you dare oversleep. If you do, I'm pulling back the blankets and putting an ice pack on your stomach. What the fuck? Oh, don't worry about that. I'm such an early riser. I put middle-aged women to shame. I'll hold you to that. Anyway, good night, Psycho. Please don't touch my ass. Good night. Wow. That was quick. Psycho must have ex been exhausted. I could hear her calm telltale grunts and rhythmic, rhythmic breathings. Signifying that she was out of cold, she was out cold, but I and I was contained, and it was contained. Jesus Christ, I couldn't get over just how much warmth her body was generating. The previous night was so cold, but this was perfect. She was like a hot water bottle. Mmm, so warm. Mmm, mmm. Oh, you're awake. I can hear your voice even from the deepest sleep, Naomi. You've experienced that before during class, remember? Is that some kind of ESP or something? And wait, were you sleeping during class? That's not good. Hey, I have a question. Hmm? Can I touch your ass? In the future, even after you get married, will you still spend time with me like this? What? Of course I will. 
Talk about a bolt from the blue. For for true. <laughs> for shizzle, my snizzle. For true. I mean, we're friends, you know? Through thick and th th thin. And we'll always be. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Man, you're really a spaz sometimes, you know that? Seiko wanked, I mean yanked the covers up and overhead like some girly anime heroine. What the fuck? If she really did think of me as more than a friend, how was I supposed to react? Naomi? Hmm? Let's always be together. Eh! You bet. Good night, Seiko. Good night. Seiko and I seem to be thinking the same thing. We were both so happy, but there was another side to the coin. There was a certain awkwardness as well. It was a strange sensation. Soon enough, Seiko began moaning and breathing heavily for real. She had fallen fast asleep facing me, curled into a fetal position. As I lay there staring at her head, my hand moved of its own volatition and began gently stroking her hair. Strangely, it didn't feel awkward or embarrassing at all. Perhaps because I knew she was asleep. It just felt natural. I slid my hands more towards her back and continued rubbing her head gently like a mother would her child. What the fuck is happening? Mm, what a lovely shape her head has. What the fuck is happening? Perfectly round. I just kept stroking her hair thinking about this and that. Suddenly she clung to me and buried her face in my chest. Okay. Was she still half awake? Heh, <laughs> what a strong scene this was. But just for tonight, I was willing to let it slide. There, there. Good girl. Good girl. This music? <laughs> it's supposed to rain all evening, so make sure you both take an umbrella with you. Got it. Ah, oh, thanks for the loner. Have fun today, and Shionohara, you'd be sure to think about where you go on that date of yours. Of ours. Yes, ma'am. Uh, she's not your mom, you know. <laughs> Seiko had woken up ungodly early and pulled my foot on away, forcing me up with a chill and a sneeze. We both combed our hair and put our, on our school uniforms, then scarfed down breakfast, the breakfast my mom had made, and flew out of the house. If we didn't hurry, we'd be late for setting up. Do I actually get to play now? No, no, I don't. All right, well, who needs to play games anyway, am I right? Oh, things are looking pretty grand this year, too. Yeah, it's really come together, and uh, but I forgot I have to get go get the bowls from the prep room. Seiko, you go ahead into class, will you? <laughs> Roger that. Oh, and I'll take your bag for you. Give it here. Thanks. It was the day of the culture festival, or Kisaragi Fest. Our school has a whole lot of history to it, and this festival had been part of it for ages. Every student in the junior and senior high al alike was busy getting ready for the festivities. Which were due to start in around 30 minutes. I wondered if I had any extra time afterwards to check out the other class project. We'd previously washed the bowls we were planning to use and laid them out in the home EC prep room. With these bowls in hand, I proceeded towards class 2-9. I climbed the usual staircase and headed towards the usual room, stepping carefully so I wouldn't drop any dishes. The, plane, the plan this year was to host a red bean soup restaurant. I could smell the sweet red bean paste more and more clearly with every step I took. I'd eaten so much food at breakfast and here we had even more food rearing its head. But when it comes to sweets, I'd say BRING IT ON! BRING IT ON, sweets. I have fucking now. Traditional sweets. Morning everyone, these look like- What happened to Cobra's party? <laughs> There'll be enough balls for today, don't you think? Mayu? Oh yeah, Mayu! She looks older, what the fuck? Good morning! Yes. That looks like it'll be plenty. Hi, here they are! Yoshikiki. Hey! Morning, Kashinuma. Morning, Satoshi. Oh, there's Satoshi! Ah, uh, ah, uh, Naomi. Mm, Satoshi seemed a bit cut out of sorts. He just start staring blankly. Was he still half asleep? It bothered me to see him like that, but I literally had my hands full. So I really couldn't dwell on it. I pushed on into the classroom. So this is the girl, uh, the boy that Naomi is in love with. 
He's really... I like him. But I couldn't actually see what was going on in front of my feet, and I have to admit it was kind of scary. It would be a real challenge not to drop anything. Hmm? Naomi, good morning, my dear. <laughs> yeah, Seiko, stop grabbing my ass! Oh, Seiko. Haven't we already said our good mornings anyway? Oh, but can I resist an opportunity like this? Naomi, hands restricted, unable to fend off my advances. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Look what you did. What an asshole. Giggle. Oh, now that's no good. Our table has to be kept clean. Guess we'll have to go wash it all again. Here, I'll help. Thanks. Sorry for the trouble. What is happening? And so began the culture festival. All day we wore the clothes Suzumi prepared for us and served red bean soup to our schoolmates. That sounds good. I love red bean soup. She made a lot of cost to being experienced having worked on the side of things in the drama club for quite some time. She even did the sewing herself, putting all the practice to the test. And the kimonos she prepared for us really were all our of uh, exceptional quality. So good, in fact, that they became a centerpiece for us, bringing in students from junior and senior divisions alike. They made for a busy day. When we weren't tending to customers, we were chasing after the slacker, Kashinuma, or, or taking time to check out some of the other class projects. In the end, not one did we have real. Not only did we have really fun day, we also wound up being the most popular classroom in the whole festival. All in all, a rousing success. A rousing sex sex fuck it. Finally, the clock struck six. Damn. As our busy day drew to a close, we all stood around talking. We kept saying we should clean up, but that kind of didn't happen. Before I knew it, there was only seven of us left in the room. Satoshi, class rep, Seiko, Morishige, Kashinuma, Suzumoto, and myself. It seemed everyone else had already gone home. Our homeroom TA, Miss Shishido, showed up with Satoshi's little sister in tow. So it's all the people from the first- that was in the first corpse body, pretty much. But they were- they were it. We nine became de, de facto cleanup crew. What the fuck? De facto? Yep, that's all of them. Ah, finally done. Good work, everyone. The place is looking like a real classroom again. <laughs> Those dumbasses went home without help. Oh wait, the guy with the glasses also. The evil guy. Helping are sure going to get a piece of my mind tomorrow though. <clears throat> huh? Not much of class rep if I can't even hold everyone together long enough to clean up after myself. Yeah, you better hold that against yourself. Though, you did manage to keep Koshinuma here, surprisingly. Uh, shut up. Is that the guy with the glasses maybe? Susumoto, I wanted to say it's been really fun having you here at these last few months. I can't tell you how many times your positive energy helped bolster my spirits. What the fuck? Always remember that you're loved and respect. Even though you have that stupid haircut. <laughs> we may not have said much to that effect, but we've all been watching you blossom here. I lent a hand where... I could and did my best to help guide you, but ultimately, you walked your own path and become a fine young woman. What the fuck? Who says that as a teacher? M Monsieur, eh? It takes a special person to achieve what you've done with you, without even realizing it. It's been an honor to serve as your homeroom TA. So, in the first game, she was about to quit school. Not quit school, but for another, she was moving. So, maybe that's what's happening right now as well? I wish you all the best on your new school. Aha, so it is the same. It's kind of like the same thing is happening in a different universe. In a parallel universe, maybe. Thank you! Unfortunately, this teary farewell brought us all back to reality. During the holidays, follow- It's like the first game identical, except with some softcore porn to, sh to knock it all off. <laughs> During the holidays, Followed the culture festival. Suzumoto was being transferred. This, w this was to be her last day at Kasaragi Academy High School. Everyone here loved her, so this was a sad occasion indeed. Even though she had that stupid haircut. She was truly a kind person, possessing no ulterior motives or harboring no ill will towards anyone. The thought of her leaving was just plain depressing. 
but time waits for no one, and sadly the time had come for us to say our goodbye. Oh, sorry. As one final hurrah, our occult obsessed class rep asked us to perform some friendship. Oh god, there it is. This is it. Edgar, you're so cute. Uh, Sachiko Ever After. This is the charm that got them in trouble in the first. There it is. Upon mentioning it, she procured a paper doll from her bag. It looked a lot like those proxy dolls you'll sometimes see in Shino Shrines, designed to absorb bad camera in somebody's place. Visually, this whole thing just seemed like the setup for a curse scenes or something. It was kind of scary, and I wasn't the only one who thought so. That's because it, that's what it is. So you do the charm, and if you do it wrong, you end up in this hellish place where everyone just fucking dies. So we know that's gonna happen. <laughs> this is, well, this is a charm that I found on the internet. If you do it right, then all of us will be together forever. <laughs> Too bad you won't! <laughs> Uh, or we'll end up, or we'll always be friends. Anyway, that's the gist of it. Interesting. So how did he wait? Where's the guy with the glasses? I miss him. No, don't do this. Thanks. Thanks, Satoshi. Fucking thanks. Seriously, don't do this. It's dangerous. Our lives are on the line. Jesus. Satoshi. Oh, I like the music. It's coming. <laughs> There he is, Morishige. Okay, he's there. Hmm. Don't think you're going a bit overboard? Hmm? <laughs> Look, I'm not joking. I'm dead serious here. Satoshi had always been easily spooked, and it's... In true form, he was pleading for his life. That would stop what we were doing. It didn't sound that scary, though. Don't worry, Mushida. This is my usual creepy fear. I gotta say, it's rare to see you get all this worked up. So he remembers, maybe, what happened in the first one. In the end, eight of us proceeded with the ritual as planned, while Satoshi sat in, out in front with tears in his eyes. What the fuck? It kind of felt bad. I kind of felt bad for him. But this was for Suzumoto. We all wanted to give her the best possible send-off, so all we could really do was silently wonder what had gotten into him. Please, I'm begging you, stop this. Don't go through with it. Why don't anyone listen to me? Because you're a little bitch, that's why. He, he's really serious, like, as serious as i ever seen him. What is it, Satoshi? What is it that has you so worried? It's a time loop. This has happened before. All of this. I remember it, and what's coming next is worse than you could possibly imagine. Giggle, sorry, but I th I'm through trying to convince you. Just be a good boy and wait for us to finish, okay? Jesus. A time loop. Is he experiencing deja vu like me? And some new destiny being born inside of him, like the classroom had said before. Come on, kind of think of it. This does feel a little familiar. This room, this atmosphere, this charm. I obediently dug my nails into paper doll, but all the while I was frantically foraging through my memories trying to figure out what I was missing. We're going to pull on it until it rips apart into nine pieces. And the count on the count of three. With a pallid face, Satoshi quickly rushed over and grabbed the paper doll itself. He was joining us after all, it seemed. Damn it, he's crazy. Holy shit, I would never fucking do that shit if I knew about it. Everyone else smiled at him as... If to say, finally, you've come to your senses. But I was just starting to get really bad feeling about this. No. No, there's definitely something wrong here. Ready? One, two... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No. As soon as I reached the hallway, I, feel, I fell to my knees with a thud. No, 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 no. What was that? A person. It was pitch black, but I swear... It was shaped like a person. The school infirmary door hung open near me, and in my panicked state, I swear I seen a black shadowy figure within it. Oh my god. No! Pan, 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 good sky, screw it. Pan, pan, go. Giant boobs, I mean. What just happened? That dark, misty entry came towards me, and entered my body from every orifice. It came in through my ears, through my mouth. I felt an enormous lump in my throat, blocking the flow of air in my lungs and momentarily teething me and bringing up consciousness. I was almost killed. 
It felt as if a cold hand reached in my body and grabbed hold of my life's energy, turning all my internal organs, organs inside out and leaving me for dead. My stomach was curling, my bowels were on fire, and my legs were all twisted around themselves. Can pressure alone disrupt the human body this much? The odorium flavor of my own gastric juices still gnawing at the back of my throat. It felt like I was going to throw up again, but I, I held it in. I remember this. This place, these circumstances. I've been here before, I know I have. After performing the psycho ever after ritual, there was a hellish noise when a huge hole appeared in the floor, and then I was here in this school. There was no sign of Satoshi or Mish Shishido or the class rep or anyone else. Only Seiko was still near me, collapsed in a head of heap on the floor. Oh god, that's creepy. Seiko and I explored the decaying building as best as we could, but there was no way out. Not a single window out of the door could be moved or even broken. Just as our last shreds of hope had begun to vanish, we suddenly heard Satoshi's little sister, Yuka, cry out from somewhere just around out of sight. I strained my ankle pretty badly and couldn't walk very well, so Seiko went off alone to find her while I rushed to set up in the infirmary. The exact same thing happened in the first game. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh my God! And that's when the dark, shadowy figure showed up and began attacking. This happened- Oh God, stop! Please! My nipples are hard enough already! Pant, pant, pant! I was scared. So scared, so scared, so very scared. My teeth were chattering and my lips were quivering, as if they had the mind of their own. Why would she leave me alone like that? I told her I'd go with her to look for Yuka, so why? Why did she leave me behind? Was the guy wanting to slow her down? Was I going to get her in her way? Naomi! What happened? Are you okay? Seiko. What? Oh my god, are you alright? I'm so sorry I left you by yourself. Just seeing Seiko's face quelled by shivers. Whenever she's around, I feel so at ease, and at that moment, I just wanted to cling onto her and cry my eyes out. I should have done it, but instead... Just leave me alone. Do you have any idea how scared I was? She always reacted badly like this. I'm so I'm sorry, Naomi. Come on, let's try and find a way out of here together. What's the point? Just forget about it. Leave it alone. We're never getting out of here. Maybe it, it was the safety of Psycho's presence that did it. But all the fear welling up within me suddenly turned into anger. I was like a spoiled child. Nothing good come out could come out lashing out like this. Psycho didn't do anything wrong. I knew that. But I couldn't stop myself from saying what I said. She was genuinely concerned about me, and I swore to myself that I'd protect her. But my sense of reason was fighting a losing battle. You realize we've gone missing, right? How do you think my mother's gonna feel? She's going to be worried sick about me, and there's nothing I can do. N Naomi, please, don't say things like that. It's gonna be alright. Like hell it is! She's gonna keep searching for me until the day I finally come home. And she has work, you know? This whole situation, it's not right. As long as I'm here, I'm not nothing but a nuisance to her. I'm a terrible daughter. And we're just gonna die here anyway, so all that time she spends looking for me will be wasted. But this time, my mind had been completely overtaken. I wasn't myself anymore. I was running out of autop I was running on autopilot. Horrified by the words coming out of my mouth. No. I know how this ends. You're wrong! Families aren't like that. It won't be a nuisance. It won't be a burden. You're not terrible. I don't know exactly how to say this, but when there are loved ones involved, you'll do anything for them. There I was again. Deja vu. Everything was falling into place. I knew what was going to happen. I knew what fate had in store if we continued down this road. But I guess I can see where you're coming from. Your mother is a really kind person. She... The last thing you want to do is worry her. That's why we need to make sure that she doesn't ha that doesn't happen, right, Naomi? I need to get back home. I don't know how it is for you and your family, but normal people don't work that way. No, it's happening. Seiko's going to get hanged. 
She's going to die. That's what happened in the first game. She got really pissy and Seiko got killed and it was really sad. Oh, Jesus Christ. I had to apologize. No. I don't want you. Of all people to speak to me like that, please, Naomi, tell me that's not how you really feel. Seiko. Oh my god, decisions. Well, obviously, I will apologize, right? Well, let me do a save just in case. Wait, I can't click apologize. Oh, I can. Thank god. If I didn't say something to calm her, Seiko would run off. And I knew she couldn't be by herself right now. So I pulled myself together and tried apologizing to her. But the words... Seiko, um... S s what the fuck? The words wouldn't come. As soon as I tried to form them, something caught itself in my throat. I find myself unable to breathe and doubled over in a fit. Now, May, are you okay? Wheeze, wheeze, whack. I'm sorry, Naomi. If I'm bothering you, I'll go. I hate to leave your side, but it, if that's what you want, I won't argue. No, don't go, Seiko! Seiko! Wait! Seiko ran off into the distance, her figure growing smaller and darker until it vanished altogether. I knew I made an awful irreversible mistake. Yeah. That sense of dread I felt moments before had come back full force. I could sense an malevolence within me. An outside hand that made me lash out at Seiko. It felt like something was in my mouth. I had no idea what, but there was definitely something in there. I stuck my fingers in and tried to dig it out. Uh. Oh god, that's this- Ugh! Oh. Ugh! Oh. My finger found something and pulled out, and from it my throat came large lumps of black hair? Ugh! Oh. God, what the fuck? I just kept pulling and pulling and couldn't believe how much there was- Oh god! The string- The strand stretched all the way from my stomach through my uh, esophagus and into my hands, and even then there was still more to pull- Ugh! Oh. The motion was unnatural and was creating a repulsive, sickening sensation along my tonsils. I felt like I was going to throw up again. Where the hell did all this hair come from? Was this all stuck in my throat? Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. It was only a faint notion before now I was certain I was remembering some future event. I didn't know why or how, but I was repeating time. And I just... Am I just not allowed to apologize? I could feel a dark will guiding me. Someone or something wanted Seiko to be killed in this timeline as well. But it wasn't going to let but I wasn't gonna let it happen. Not without a fight. Yeah. I have to go after her. I have to apologize. I can't leave her alone like this. I ran as quickly as I could in the direction Seiko had gone, but then Eee! No! A fierce earthquake began shaking the ground, the building. It was so violent, I couldn't even stay standing. I crouched along the ground, waiting for it to pass. Everything was moving, and there were sounds of objects cracking and breaking all around me. Glass was shattering, ceilings, tides were raining down upon me. I was scared for my life, so scared, so very, very afraid. I was certain I was going to die. Maybe a big chunk of ceiling would fall on me, or the floor would open up on my feet and swallow me whole. I kept wondering how it was going to end. Was I going to be crushed? How badly would it hurt? How long would it go before I finally died? My head was swimming with all kinds of worst case scenarios. Why my body just remained motionless on the ground. I never felt so helpless before. I didn't even care anymore. I had to take any release I could get just to make it stop. But there was no release for me. All I could do was curl up into a ball and pray. Shivers shake. I wonder how much time had passed. It could be in only a moment, a few minutes, or even a few hours for all I knew, but it did finally end and the dark corners were silent once more. I gradually loosened my stiff body and curling from the floor. Blotches of dust and wood chips fell from my hair. Some of the finer debris had gotten in my clothing and crunched around like a free movement. It was not pleasant. <laughs> it was not pleasant. I brushed myself off best as I could and slowly rose to my feet, slapping my skirt in vain to clear away any excess dust and dirt. 
The particles in the air were like a white smoke billowing through the pitch black hallway. It took me a moment to get my bearings. Once I finally did though, I almost wish I hadn't. The sight before my eyes instantly washed away with little hope as I had. What? The earth crate had completely caved in part of the floor. It was no longer possible to continue down this hall. No longer possible to trail Seiko. Oh god damn it. If I had been coming from the earthquake only a few feet ahead, I'd be dead for sure. Swallowed into whatever hell lay down there. What's going on? I knelt down by the edge of the hole and peered within. It was too dark to tell for sure, but if what I thought I saw was correct, then the ceiling in this school were unreasonably high. To make matters worse, it seemed like the floor directly below had fallen out as well. Oh, that's not good. I didn't dare consider just how deep this pit might go. All I knew was I couldn't risk falling into it. Shivering into terror, I pulled myself up. What do I do? Can I get around it? I have to hurry. I definitely had to hurry. If I didn't, Seika would commit suicide, but there was still time. I was, defi I was determined not to let it happen, no matter what. I was going to save her. I was going to change her horrible fate. Search mode? What the fuck is this? I actually- gameplay. Actual gameplay! Who would have thought? I need to look for something. This is weird. Alright, we're back. Um... Uh, I- I've been out buying groceries. And I've been having lunch. And I put the groceries back in the fridge and... Yeah, a lot of stuff has happened since I was gone in like a second. How, how crazy is that? Still can't seem to- I should have figured this out before I started recording, son of a bitch. Um, alright. Let's keep it real here. Alright. So if I were here, what would I do? I really don't see anything that piques my interest. So, apparently now I have the- They took away the RPG element. Which is really weird. So I open the menu with Q? And then I can- What? This is so weird! Search mode? Well, I guess it's more creepy. Alright. There's a large hole in the floor. Too big to jump across. Getting to the other side won't be possible. Well, fuck me then. Let's go... Oh my god! Ah! Well, I guess we'll go everywhere. Oh, okay. So things happen while we go there. Ugh. Oh, nice! There was a mess of blood and, and entrails on the wall. As if someone were launched across the corridor at tremendous speed. Oh god, this happened in the first game too. Sorry, I'm just gonna keep saying that all over. The smell was positively vile. Seiko had commend commented on it before, but it was really hitting me now. Every breath I took was triggering with- This fly is really pissing me off! It was all I could do- It was all I could do not to vomit again. Oh. Can we go away, please? Oh, well, I guess I'll search it. Is there anything searchable here? This doesn't seem worth it. Alright, well, let's go there then. <clears throat> the door to the science lab is frozen its place. As if it's just a decoration of the wall, it can't be opened. Ay, 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 mamma mia, pizzeria is una bella casa. Uh, the door is frozen. Yes, yes, yes. Well, we shall go in this hall then. This is weird. They really made this game weird. As I wandered through the darkened corridors, every hair of my body was standing at attention. <laughs> at attention? I had goosebumps from head to toe. It felt like a fog of uneasiness was swirling around me with each step I took. And that fog was growing thicker and thicker. To such extent that I began fearing that darkness might swallow me whole and I ceased to exhaust. I could feel my sanity slipping away. I didn't know how much longer I could hold out and I was starting to lose patience. I just wanted to get it over with. <clears throat> Fear was like a slime covering my entire being. No matter how much I wiped, I was only squishing it around. It couldn't come off. It was stuck there. What is she talking about? Bros, I'm so confused. Ah! 
I walked around aimlessly calling out Seiko's name. By doing so, I think I was able to dull my senses and just barely maintain my grip on reality. Seiko! Where are you? Please answer me. I wasn't thinking straight. I want to play legit. It's so creepy walking in the corridors. Up ahead, I swore I saw a light glinting off something. It looked for a moment like a web of sewny strings stretched all across the hall. Ah, uh-oh. I slowly crept forward until I could confirm that they were, in fact, strands of wire. Gently, I reached out a finger and touched the closest one. Oh, God. Yeah. I pulled my hand away, looking down at it. There was now a very fine, clean slice right on the tip of my finger. Tiny red beans were beginning to form. Those beads just kept getting bigger and bigger as I watched them mentally, swelling into one another and forming a single drop of blood. Well, that's... Oh, hello. That's just fucking great, isn't it? And that drop quickly became too heavy for its perch. It began wending its way down my hand towards my wrist. We get it. You're fucking bleeding. Piano wire? It's, no, it's a little different. I couldn't believe it had cut so deeply just from a faint touch. Had it been sharpened? It's really strong, stung. If I hadn't noticed these wires strung across the hall and just kept walking, I shudder to think of what might have happened. Oh, God. <laughs> Death not from malevolent spirits, but from a mere booby trap. Hehe. <laughs> Beep. <laughs> Who could have done this? There was definitely an, a planned malice behind it. I could sense an ill will in the air and began to tremble. Well, where? Why would you ever think that? Was someone watching me, even at this very moment? Was someone just waiting for me to fall into their traps and die so they could gloat about it? I love gloating. Is someone there? Hey! <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. It was like an unconscious shout. I couldn't control myself. I was scared. And whoever, whoever did this was heartless. I couldn't just let it go. Let it go. Sorry. Stop this, please. You're scaring me. Don't do these awful things to people. That's what I say every day to people. A baby of negative emotions began swimming through my head. I suddenly realized I was crying. And I knew that this corridor, with its web of razor-sharp piano wire, was effectively impassable. At least for the moment. I needed to find some way to cut through the wires. Or at least some means of disabling the trap at any rate. I decided to go back. And search the rest of the schools for ins- Alright, well, whatever you say, Naomi. Whatever you say. <laughs> you bros hanging in there? In there? Sorry, my accent goes thicker by the minute. This means we don't have much left to live, bros. This means the world is about to end. Can we go here, though? Yeah, we can. Okay. I'll take it. Ooh! <laughs> the door to classroom 3A is frozen in place. Alright, well, I heard that one before. Let's check this note. Smudgy blood reddling, little, uh, getting close to the darkness is one way to learn the truth. This whole place sits close to darkness after all. Well, that's a great note. You made me really... Yeah, 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 yeah. Shut up. Doesn't look like there's anything else. We can't go there. What about here? <laughs> Hello? Is anyone out there? Ooh, glass. Ooh. This... This uh, earthquake really did a... Oh, we can enter. All right. Ooh. I wonder how the classrooms look like. Oh, they're just wonderful, aren't they? That looks like something. No? Hmm. It's too quiet here. I don't like it. Oh, God. What is that? Uh-oh. 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 The following words were scrawled on the blackboard. Your friend is a traitor. You're going to be killed. Run. I always love the, the little music in this game. This shouldn't have been there. It wasn't on the board when I first got here with Psycho. Somebody had written it recently. But why? To create a rift in our friendship? I don't know if it was a person or a ghost who did this, but whoever it was, it was a terrible thing to do. This was all really started to get to me. Sorry. Is somebody in there? Stop harassing me, whoever you are! I can't take this anymore. I just can't. Then go to Tumblr and tell about it. 
didn't even know whom I was angry with. But make no mistake, I was seething. I was probably really close to my breaking point. I ran out of the room, never even pausing to wipe my ass, wipe the tears from my eyes. Well, that was great. I love that room. 10 out of 10, favorite room. Look how many places there's left to explore. Jesus Christ. Let's go one by one, baby. Make sure we don't miss anything. Bet missing something would be terrible in this game. I would just cry forever. There's nothing here. It's fucking great. Should we go up or... I think yellow means we can't go there. So, I'm gonna go here. It is a lot creepier with this. But at the same time, I... You know, the RPG maker effect is kind of gone. I wonder why they took that away. The original corpse party, the original, original one was made in... Oh, God. It's more piano wire. There was yet another piece of piano wire in this room, seemingly razor sharp like the others. But only one. I could avoid it easily without, with some care. I don't know about that, girl. There could be a trap and it, you could lose your head. That reminds me, I should probably say. <laughs> uh, that was the dorkiest laugh I ever done. I'm so sorry. What is this thing? In the corner of the room sat an antiquated mechanical cert. Oh, it's one of those! Those lever things. It prominently featured two wheels with spools of transcoolant. These words, man! Translucent wire coiled around them and projected out towards the ceiling in a perfect tight line. Could this be? The source of the boob? Eh eh, boob! Sorry, booby trap. Pull the lever. Uh, yeah. That's a pretty big lever. That's what she said. <laughs> Sorry. I wonder if it'll even move. Eh. No. The machine was old and the lever was rusted, so it wasn't going to give without a fight. I could rattle it a little, though, so I figured I had a chance. Something bad's gonna happen. Oh! Yatta! It's gone, the piano wire. It's, uh, it's a gone. It's a me, Mario. Well, you live and you learn. And uh, you die and you die. Pull the lever. Oh, uh, yeah? What the fuck? So it goes on and off? Sorry, let's pull it one more time. Maybe that gets rid of the other things? The other piano thing? I don't fucking know. Alright, let's get out of here. I just feel like we should... Uh oh. What's that light? What the fuck? There weren't any lights on and the whole school was bathed in darkness. Yet, in this lone room, uh, Small circle of light just kept blinking on and off. It seemed almost as if it would turn on whenever I looked at it, and turn off whenever I looked away. Or maybe that was just imagination. But it seemed possible that someone could be trying to get my attention. Is anybody in there? No response. What do you think, Naomi? What do you think? I began to get more and more creeped out with every passing second. At first, I thought maybe somebody was watching me, but now I, al I was almost certain of it. Oh, great, a dead body. Great. Great, press. That's just great. As I got closer to the source of light, the blinking stopped. The light was now fully on. Oh, God, I don't want to look at that. God damn it. It is a lot more creepier, this game. I gotta say, what do you bros think? Listen to your teacher. You're going to die now. What? That's this fucking road, okay? God! What's in here? There are three lines of deep scratches. Oh, my God. That was like last time, too. <laughs> I keep saying that, but it's true. I seemingly made- just watch the old ones already. God. Made by fingernails. What could have, have happened here? There's a bleached white skeleton. Ah, oh, wonderful. Sprawled out here. Judging by the height and uniform, it appears to be remains of a male junior high school student. Looking closer, there's a faded- What? Oh, okay. Bye bye. <laughs> there's a faded school named a tag attached to his blazer. <laughs> Shut up, Edgar! Do you still collect name tags in this game? A flashlight, and it's on. 
I should just take it. Maybe it was just low on batteries and that's why. Or maybe not. Alright, now we have a flashlight. It really did seem to be low on batteries. Alright. I'm not gonna waste it, alright, game? Oh god, alright. Well, I think we explored everything here. Let's try 1C. 1C. Can't you see? Gotta pee on you, girl. That's it. Oh, wonderful picture! <laughs> as soon as I entered the room, I had a bad feeling about it. I don't know why, that's such a beautiful picture. The silence was almost defeating. Defaining. There wasn't a single sound to be heard. This room and this room alone felt very different from... And yeah, there's a dead body down there, I can see it. Hi! Oh, wonderful. A child's crayon drawing. Very vibrant and colorful. I say that at least. The subject's mouth is open. Oh shit, you don't say. She seems to be eating a watermelon. Where? Where's the fucking watermelon? <laughs> I don't see the watermelon. <laughs> what is this? There are two skeleton remains here. Both of them mostly withered at the, this point. They seem to have died and huddled up against one another. Well, that's cute. Hashtag cute. Hashtag just little things with your boyfriend. Both are female. Oh, hashtag little things with your female friend. Look at round... There's a school name. I don't care about their names. Because I don't know who the fuck they are. God. Oh. I ate a student today. Oh. I was hungry, so... I had to. Well, yeah. I mean... Plus, we played rock, paper, scissors, and I... Lost. I thought I'd lose to an adult, but didn't. Great story. My favorite story of all time. Just love these stories that they... Alright, here's something. It's full of dirty tissues. Kind of turns the stomach, but best not to look any closer. Best just to walk away. What the fuck? <laughs> well, she talks all this sudden. Alright, well, it doesn't seem like there's anything else here. Oh... Can we go there? Let's try and go there. Oh, stopped somewhere. Damn it! So we can't go there. Let's try and go here then. So the game will stop you at least, so you don't have to click through each one of them. So creepy. Ugh. Oh, we're by the stairs. Ooh. Ooh, I don't know like the steratos, huh? Oy, oy, oy. How do I go up there? Oh, God, it's so creepy. Uh, let's go here. Love exploring. That's my favorite. Weird. We didn't run into anything. What is this place? Oh god, this gives me goosebumps. This is actually legitimately freaking me out a bit. Oh god. <laughs> I'm so on edge. The door to the driver room is frozen in place. Oh, that's it? But there's a dead body there. Oh god. A decomposing corpse. The smell of ghastly. Judging by the height, it was probably... Alright, well, in fucking hell. So we can't go there either. Let's check if the piano wire is gone because we pulled the lever. I feel like that's the appropriate thing to do. Oh god, I gotta watch that bitch go all the way. Here we go. <gasps> Help me, please. Somebody help me! Who said that? Who's saying that? Hello? What? What? Who? who huh, huh. Oh God! Oh no! Ah! Nakashima, Grade Three, Room A. Nakashima, Grade Three, Room A. Please return to class immediately. What the fuck? Hello? Hello? Why can I? This is weird. <sighs> Me? You're next. Oh. 
What the hell does that mean? <laughs> what the fuck? We read this one, right? Getting yeah. Wait, what? What's that? Some sort of mechanism. Pull the lever. Yeah? Ooh, la la la! Uh, phew! What a strange contraption. Pull the lever made a retractable floorboard extend, but it's also restrung in all the piano way. I had to be careful not to touch any of it, even if it's slightly brushed up against a single strand. All right, well now we can go forward to 2F, 3F. Is that stairs? I think that's another stair. Yep, another one. What a sadistic place to put it. It should be possible to use the stairs, but that piano best to sl Okay, don't fall, got it. Damn, this ambience, man, fucking creepy as hell. I don't trust anything at this point. Nice. We're at the stairs again. Creepy ass fucking stairs. Don't kill me. Oh god, not the boys and girls. Bad things happen in the boys' room. Bad things. Please don't be dead, Psycho. 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 She sh her name should be Psycho. It's boarded up. Damn, girl. All right, well, girl's room it is, huh? I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Hello? Shaky faded, la faded lettering could just barely be made out on the old flyer. Put it out of your mind. Don't worry. Eat, laugh, go nuts. Let the darkness in. Suddenly, I felt a sickness in the pit of my stomach. It was almost unbearable. Uh -oh. It's happening in real life. I felt like I was forgetting something. Something absolutely crucial. Something I could, was consciously trying to forget, but absolutely had to remember. No matter what. To take a shit. There it is. To take a giant dump of poopity papa. Poopity papa. That's a great name for it. No? There's no... There's no going inside like last time? What about the poopity papa? Poopity papa papa. Poopity... Poopity poopity papa. Papa re poop. <laughs> poopity papa. <laughs> Pizza papa poop. Sorry, I'm so sorry. They have those weird toilet things there. That's fucking gross. Well, that was anticlimactic. Maybe it will do like last time. You exit and then you hear something. Or, you know, not that at all. What the hell? Where are we supposed to go now? I can't go back either. This is really strange. The board should be sturdy enough to get you across where some sort of mechanism. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I can leave. Oh, okay. Fucking weird, man. So where are we supposed to? We never went to the nursery. This game is so creepy. It's freaking Japanese subtleties, man. What's in here? There's bound to be something here. The infirmary was where I'd been attacked. I didn't want to stay in any longer than I had to. That horrible sensation of my body being overcome by hair like a mist was something I'd never hoped to experience again as long as I lived. Well, let's... think my my girlfriend is... Hmm? Hmm. There was a photo here. Ooh, he looks handsome. The paper was cracked and warped in various spots, and the picture itself was black and white. Clearly, this was not a recent photograph. Thank you, Naomi, for pointing that out. <laughs> It was a simple shot of a man looking directly at the camera. 
doesn't really look like he's watching. Oh, whatever. At a formula. Okay. Fuck it. I don't care. I wonder who it is. It's the man who worked at this desk. Or a family member, maybe. Huh. I think maybe we have some other more important things to worry about, Psycho. All- I mean, Naomi. All things considered, there's surprisingly little dust on these beds. There's nothing out of them, is there? Nope. Anything. Good. <laughs> there's a pair of scissors. Ooh, I could use that. No? This thing. Why don't you take the scissors and fucking cut the shit? Ah, oh, come on. I don't care. A large number of bottles. Each one is impacted. What? Don't care. Give me something so I can progress. Come on. Heater. Damn it. Damn it! I'm stuck! It didn't take me long, it didn't. Ah, son of a bitch. Huh? What's stopping me here? Is it the floor? And yeah, it's fucking ass floor. You could easily jump over though, and being such a little bitch, man. Let's try this. We're gonna go here, we're gonna pull the lever, and we're not gonna cross. How about that? Let's see what that does. Alright, by not cheating whatsoever, we're gonna we're gonna go back here. In the Oh god, shit's happening. Oh god. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. I'm I'm that's literally where I'm going. You're wasting my time here, woman. Oh god. Oh god, why me? Yes, yeah. Just shut up. Shut you down. You you literally just waste everyone's time here. Okay, maybe that's not what I wanted to go at all. Oh, so it shouts out every time I pass it. Oh. Oh, that is that is some spooky shit, man. Woman, child, dinos dinosaur, really? Oh, weird. You're weird. Alright. Yeah, you got a bad feeling. What the fuck are you gonna do by? Ah! What? What? Is she, is she saying kawaii? Oh god, it hurts. Die, just die, I killed you. Oh god. Oh my god, I got goose nips like fucking crazy. This is really creepy. Hey girl. Sotani <gasps> Raven! It's like a pomegranate. Take a closer look. Uh. Sure. Did someone draw over it with fluorescent paint? Gives me the creeps. Oh my god. Oh my god. The fuck am I doing here then? Can I go home now? Oh my god. I don't see anything though. I mean, where, what would I click? That was something. Maybe there's another message on the note. No, it's the same. Spill your blood. I don't know what you want me to do. What if we leave? So creepy. Jesus. Let's go back. Oh my god. This game is so creepy. Are you both scared? We've been playing for quite a while, but we have a lot of- fr Oh god. Is it the same shit? Yeah, it is. I get it. I can't go in there. So you're really making it hard for me here. Shut up, shut up, shut up. It just opened on its own. Oh god. Come in. Oh god. What? Oh god. Oh god. Come on in. Uh. 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 Some unknown force lifted me off my feet and pulled me into the classroom. It was dark in there that I couldn't even see my in hands in front of my face. Jesus. I'm uh, glad uh, you've come, buddy. Uh, uh. 
There's no time to lose. The ex emanation is about to begin. Please remove your jacket. Ah! That's a good girl now. Lie down on the bed. Not sure what else to do. I pull out the flashlight and point it in the direction of the creepy voice. Oh god. Oh god, I have 10 seconds. No. Oh god, I'm running out of time here. Don't kill me, please. Satan i röven! Helvete! Vice principal? Oh, great, it's the crooked man. Uh, 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 oh, 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 hey, 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 buddy. Don't worry about it. What? Suddenly, the classroom was bathed in that familiar faint light, and I was alone, despite what I've just heard, and every window seemed to be fully intact. God, what's next? What the hell was that? That was not fun. Not fun. How am I still alive? No one knows. Let's go back up to the bathrooms. I don't know. Seems like the right thing to do. Got to pull that lever though. Sweet, sweet lever. Please let me across. It's weird, I'm not really doing anything to progress. Just shit fucking happens while I walk around like an idiot. Great way to describe this game right now. <laughs> it's like, first, no gameplay. Now, weirdest fucking gameplay ever. <laughs> so fucking weird. Why did I go there? I want to go to the girls' room. Come on. I want a pee-pee. I want a pee-pee on you, but... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No matter how much I wandered, I just couldn't seem to figure out where Seiko had run off to. I'd been teased from the shadows and frightened the whole time I was searching. I couldn't take much more of it. I was losing my mind. When I came back to my senses, I find myself standing in a hallway on the third floor of the school building. I began to doubt myself, to doubt the faded events that lay ahead, or whatever these horrific future memories were. I couldn't actually happen. It couldn't actually happen, right? I had no real reason to doubt the things I'd been envisioning, of course, but I kept telling myself it was just paranoia. I'd experienced deja vu many times before in my life, ever since I was a little girl. It didn't have to mean anything. Someone once told me that deja vu was just brain recognizing a similar situation from one's past and making a false connection, pulling the wrong foul. Yeah, exactly. That's what it is, Naomi. Don't worry, you'll be fine. P please don't worry. Seiko! Seiko, please don't leave me by myself! I had basically lost all ability to reason, as if my mind had been taken over by some outside force. I broke down on the spot and began crying. Hey, it's Bucket! Hey, Bucket, how you doing? What's that? A loud sound caught my attention. It sounded like someone was kicking a wall. I shot up from the ground as if I were yanked. And as I rose, my brain began recognizing a similar situation from the pa Oh, God. A file was being pulled. Oh, God. No. The sound of a struggle coming from inside the bathroom stall is exactly the same! Go, Naomi! Oh, God, this is gonna be bad, isn't it? Oh, God, there's an eerie stillness in the air within the girls' lavatory. It didn't feel like there was anyone else in there with me, but I sensed a slight movement on the third stall from the back as if I was... Oh, God. Just go! My heart was racing. I was so nervous, I felt like old blood in my butt had begun flowing reverse. Behind this door... Oh, well, at least she's not there. Seiko, where are you? I miss you. Just looking at the news sent a wave of dark feelings through my mind. The specter of death was right in front of me, bearing its fangs. If I went too much longer without finding her... Ah! That same dull thud echoed again from behind me. Startled, I turned back towards the stall. No one was there, so what was I hearing? The wall, there's a breeze. Oh yeah, there's a hole behind this place. I stepped inside and began lightly knocking on the back wall in several different spots. Uh-oh. It's hollow. Looking closely, the wall did just... 
jut out very slightly around that exact spot. Unconsciously, I pulled on it. And a small piece of paneling swung out into the space beyond like a door. It was well hidden to say the least. Never once would I have guessed there'd be hidden room behind this particular bathroom stall. It's really dark in there. The room was extremely narrow, making it feel longer than it was. You could fit maybe two tatami mats on the ground here, end to end. What the fuck does that mean, these Japanese connections? The hole was cut into the floor in the back, outfitted with a ladder leading down into the main school building below. I peered down the hole, but couldn't see no sign of a floor, nor the end of the ladder. This thing could lead all the way to ground level, or even further. Ah! Whether due to pressing pressure differentials or breeze in the air, the secret door suddenly shut itself. Hey, damn it! Ah, oh, we're so fucked. That must have been what I was he hearing earlier. A wretched smell was waffling up from below, hardly a surprise given where I was. I didn't want to imagine what unspeakable things might await me at the bottom of this ladder. But if Seiko had gone this way, I shook off my misgivings and began descending. Are we going down? I thought we were going up. Oh, that, that, that's the sound of me putting on my rubber underwear. Shudder, shiver, shiver. I wondered if maybe this ladder ended in the garbage dump or something. I stopped in my tracks, seriously considering turning back. But I didn't want to miss something and have to do this again later. So I figured I might as well go and blah, blah, blah. He kept climbing down. Sure, it was wet. If I'm not careful, I might slide. Oh god, this is gonna be bad. Oh, we're in the cave. I'm really glad it's not a garbage dump. It seemed to be in a cave-like room with muddy walls and dirty floor. Looking up, I could see a very faint light coming from the hole I just climbed through, but the whole area was otherwise pitch black. Here's the funky music again, bros. Do I look creepy? I just look stupid. Oh, well, thank you. There doesn't seem to be anything to find in here at all. I probably, I'm pro, I'm probably just wasting my time. While surveying my surroundings as the best I could, I attempt to stand up, but that didn't go well. Ah, what the? My ankle had swollen up pretty badly. Oh yeah, she hurt her leg and felt like it was on fire. It was the same sprained ankle Seiko had tended earlier. I must have landed on it when I slipped from the ladder, excavating it further. No! Why is this happening? Because you're fucked, Naomi, that's why. I made another attempt to go up, this time onto my good ankle. If I shifted my weight so the majority of it rested on that leg, maybe I could walk. Oink! Eh! Edgar, shut up! No such luck. I wasn't going anyway. <coughs> shut up! I was stuck in the dark, dank, in the dark, dank pain, when no one could ever find me. With a ladder I couldn't use. My leg had begun to going numb, and the pain from my ankle was almost unbearable. No. No, I have to get out of here. I have to. Edgar, shut your damn whore mouth, you dirty slut. Leaning on the wall for support, I attempted to stand once more. This time holding my sprained ankle in the air as best as I could. I placed both of my hands on the ladder, but it was no use. I couldn't even make it the first step. Pant, pant. What the fuck? Who's calling? Ah. Where were we? Yes, we are dying. Great. But as soon as the other came in contact with the button rung of that wet, slippery ladder, why can't I hear anything? Oh god, I'm missing like out on actions and stuff. Ooh, there we go. Erg. Ah. Yes. I could feel myself turning pale. I was well and truly stuck. It was no joke. I was frantic. I tried climbing the ladder again and again, but just kept finding myself sprawled unceremoniously across the ground. I nailed that word. Word. Damn it. Fuck. I couldn't even say how many times I challenged those damn rungs. I even searched the walls nearby for another way out. But it was simply no use. Tears were welling up in my eyes uncontrollably. I'm so sorry, Seiko. I can't make it. I 
can't save you. <laughs> and then, all of a sudden, I sense the person in front of me. Oh, God. If you want to find your friend, you can't just give up. <laughs> I'm impressed you made it this far. You've done well. Oh, it's- oh, God, it's her. She's evil! Don't trust! It was a little girl. She was just... there. And she spoke to me in a very comforting voice. Then she hugged me tightly. As I... As if trying to enshroud my head with her being. We saved her in the last game, so maybe now she's nice to us. Sub sub brawl. There, there. It'll be alright. I'll let you see her, if you'd like. Will you... Will you listen to what I have to say? Aww. I didn't care who, I didn't care if it was a person or a ghost, I just wanted somebody, anybody to save Psycho. Good, good girl. Good girl, that's a good girl. Everything's going to be okay, painful memories, you see. Are the funniest of them all! Sorry, that's really creepy. Oh god. Ah! Now me, you insensitive jerk! Ugh, ugh. Oh, so we're psycho now. Hick, hick. Sniffle. No, I shouldn't say that about her. It was my fault. Naomi was just scared, and after what we went through, I don't blame her. She's always been so cheery <laughs> and so kind. <laughs> but I brought out all her pain, all her tears. And that's the one thing a friend should never do. A smile suits her best. Suits her face best of all. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Naomi. I'm sorry for making you sad. I feel so lost without you. It's the same for me, Psycho. Huh. Psycho, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. I just... I just want us to be together forever. Now help me. But when I'm with you, don't I make you mad? Bruh? Don't I rub you the wrong way and make things unbearable for you? Of course you don't. That was just me being stubborn and pounding and behaving like a spoiled bright. Oh, oh. <laughs> Psycho approached me with her arms outstretched. She wanted to hug me, and I immediately obliged, without the slightest hesitation. What is happening? How is she walking? <laughs> this is Psycho. Warm and alive. Soft and smelling lovely, as usual. The scent of beeps. New perfume. I'll never let you go again. Let it go! Sorry. So, <laughs> me neither. You'd better not! There's a Japanese-style room over there within... With tatami mats and everything. We should go sit down and try and calm our nerves a little. Hmm. A break sounds nice. Let's go. Let's go! Sorry. Custodian's closet? This is one of those doors that wouldn't open, is it? Isn't it? Oh. Um. I passed out earlier, I guess. Wait. So, we are actually together now. I thought she was just dreaming or something. I'm... Kind of confused still. When I came to, I was lying down in this room. I was someplace underground, I think, with no way out, and then I saw a little girl, was it? For the life of me, I just couldn't remember clearly. Oh, okay. Hmm, that's really odd. Maybe you have a guardian angel on your side. Or a ghost. Oh, she ain't no guardian angel, I tell you that much, buddy. Come on, don't say that. Well, remember what that spirit told us when we first got here. He said, not all ghosts are bad. Not all bad, huh? Seiko calmly opened the door and stepped into the custodian's closet. I could hardly believe this was the same person who got scared out of her mind in the first sight of a ghost only a few hours before. Sorry. You seem a lot more fearless now than you were when we got here, Psycho. Or is that just me? Hmm? <laughs> as long as you're around, Naomi. I feel like I got nothing at all to be scared of. That's all well and good, but just make sure you don't let your guard down, okay? We're fucked. What is this room? 
There weren't any working lights in the custodian closet, but it definitely felt a lot safer in here than it did out in the creepy cre creaky hallways. The two of us plopped down next to one another on the tatami for a long while. Neither of us said a word. I, gu I guess we weren't sure what to talk about. I'm so glad you're okay, Psycho. Hey, <laughs> you too, Naomi. How's that ankle? Still hurt? I feel like it did really badly for a while there, but it's totally fine at the moment. Hmm. How curious. Glad to hear it. Did you manage to find the paper doll scrap? No, it's still missing. Guess I've dropped it somewhere else. And finding anything in this place is quite a feat. Yeah, it is. I'm sorry. But when we get it back, we can always ask the class rep to perform the original again. Then we can get you a rip. Then we can get you a replacement. So they know about all the stuff. Hmm, that's true. Once we calmed down a bit, we reached a point where we simply didn't want to leave the room anymore. We had no desire to go back into those halls, so we didn't. We stayed right here where we were for a long time, just chanting aimlessly within one another, casual as can be, about class and the festival and our sleepover the previous night. Ordinary, everyday conversation. Well, that's fucking weird. But then I happened to look over and catch Seiko staring at me. Yeah, totally. Hmm? Seiko, is something wrong? Huh? Oh, no, it it's nothing. Hmm? It was too dark to see Seiko's feature in any great detail, but something seemed amiss. It was her face. Was she blushing? Naomi? Hmm? This is hard for me to say. But, well, what is it? I, uh... She had an uncharacteristically serious expression on her face and seemed really nervous. What was it, Psycho? What were you trying to tell me? Ah, never mind. Hehe. <laughs> what the hell? Ah, oh, come on. Now my curiosity is killing me. Just spit it out already. Promise you won't laugh? If you don't want me to, then I won't. Okay, because I'm totally serious. Uh, my heart skipped a beat. This was the beginning. How could I have been so dense all this time? Since we have no idea what's going to happen to us in here, there's something I really won't need to tell you. Okay. Will you kiss me? Huh? I want to kiss you. Why? Because I love you. As a friend, right? Seiko didn't say a word. She just shook her head fervently. I was dumbfounded. Was she confessing to me? I hadn't even had a boy confess to me yet. She hung her head low, staring down at her feet. My silence seemed almost like it was causing her physical pain. She looked like she might explode. I couldn't see her face clearly, but it was certain she must have been quivering and blushing from ear to ear. You're serious. I'd marry you if I could. I want to kiss you and hug you too. That was the first time I ever heard Psycho speak so softly or with such a stammer in her voice. Just kiss her already! Before I knew it, I was crying. And I had no idea why. Um, I... Psycho, I'm sorry, I... Really? She just run away? I ran out of the room and just took off down the hall. I still couldn't tell why I was crying. It's like I was scared or maybe I was happy or maybe I just lost a friend. I needed to calm down. The psycho I was friends with wasn't gone. She hasn't been lost. Regardless of whether or not I was able to return her feelings, I owed her at least a thank you. 
Seiko must have been pretty deep in regret by that point. I needed to get back to her. I needed to let her know that I would still stand by her. Why don't you just kiss her? Jesus Christ, woman. Oh my god, this is getting really juicy. I was suddenly distracted by the sound of dripping water nearby. It was as if someone had left a faucet on, but only just... And it was slowly spilling out on the floor. But where was it? It sounded close, yet there was no sign of ta running water anywhere that I could see. I had a bad feeling about this. All I knew was... It was close. Like, really close. <laughs> Wait, no, it couldn't be. I looked down at my feet and I gasped. <gasps> oh, oh, God, what? No. <laughs> black period, and that's great. An unpleasant looking black fluid was running down my tights and boiling up on the floor beneath my feet. And it wasn't stopping. God damn it. Ew, what the hell? What is this? I hesitantly collected a bit of it on my finger and studied it. It wasn't blood. It was almost tar-like inconsistently. Smooth and vicious. That's disgusting. And it seemed to be faintly glowing as well. Why was something like this coming out of my body? Ah! I went to wipe my finger on my skirt and shift it in place. Only to lose more footing and fall backwards, landing on my rear. Ah! I put my hands on the side of my head, closed my eyes and screamed. I'd reached my limit. I just wanted all this to be over. But try as I might to shut out the world, the world was determined not to be ignored. It was like heaven and earth were moving all around me. I felt dizzy. It was like my soul and blood body were separating. I became ac acutely aware of my own mass and s started obsessing over it. I was so heavy. My head, in particular, the human cranium weights about 5 kilograms and I could feel every last gram straining my neck's muscles. It was hurting my back. Ah, What's happening? I'm losing consciousness. I can't open my eyes. All the blood in my body came rushing into my head. Why was this happening? I could feel the blood vessels in my face pressing against my skin. I could see blood behind my eyelids. Oh god, it hurts. It hurts so much. The blood just keep coming. I could it wouldn't stop. It felt as if my blood vessels, my eyes, my whole head couldn't burst at could burst at any moment. Jesus. Somebody please save me. Psycho. Be careful. You're about to fall into the valley of past and future memories. <gasps> Just as my last vestiges of consciousness were a fading, I heard a little girl's voice. But I was in pain. I was way down. I couldn't open my eyes. If you wish to save your friend, you'll need to overcome fate itself. What? What are you saying? Ah! The heaviness of my head grew at an alarming rate, and I heard a tearing. I heard a tearing sound behind my ears. It was the sound of major blood vessels breaking wide open. I was certain I was going to die, but then the pain and dizziness simply vanished. What is happening? I had the sensation of faint shimmering before my eyes, and I wondered if maybe I could open them now. Slowly and carefully, I relaxed the muscles that were so forcibly and fearfully holding my eyelids shut. What the fuck? So we everything is so weird, bros. I am so confused. Wh where am I? You know where you are. This isn't heavenly host. I knew exactly where I was. I'd seen this image a million times before. I'd seen it just this morning with Psycho. It was my house. Huh? Am I really home? Was it all a dream? Maybe. Oh, you'd be so lucky, Naomi. You'd be so lucky. I don't like this. Where's Psycho? Why did she have to run away? I, ah, I get so tired of your Naomi and her fucking attitude. Mom! I'm home! Something wasn't right. My field of vision was low to the ground, and everything around me looked much larger than it should. What was going on? Naomi? Guess what? I brought you a cat! Uh-oh. Dad? You shouldn't always be so mature watching the house all by yourself when you're away. Come on. Pet it. Isn't she great, Naomi? Uh... Mom? 
Now you got someone to keep you company. Sorry we've always been so late coming home from work, sweetie. It's so nice that we can trust you, though. I'm really sorry, but now you won't be lonely anymore, right? Stop this. Mm. Mew would spend half her time indoors, and the other half in the backyard. As if she were out to paste her or something. It may not have been much land, but that was her territory, and she rarely ventured outside of it. Once, I was so upset that my parents were going to be late coming home from work again that I s scooped up May and ran away from home for a little while. Meow. Papa? Mama? I hate you. Well, damn. Stop it! Meow. It's because you're here, May. Because you're here. Papa and Mama don't think they have to come home. It's your fault, you know? Don't hurt the kitty. Naomi, what's wrong? Why are you crying? Where did you and May run off to? I'm sorry, mate. I don't want it to be a bite. I said a really mean thing to you, May. I'm so sorry. Now, now, it's all right, Naomi. May will always be there for you. She loves you, you know? She can sense exactly how you feel, and she's very understanding. Bow. Bow. Sorry. It wasn't long after that that May ran away. <laughs> Typical cat-like behavior. I searched for her every day through teary eyes. But in the end, she never did come home. It's such a pity. I guess even cats get strange ideas in their heads from time to time. That wasn't it. And you two were such good friends, too. I did this. But you'll make a new friend in no time. You just need to put this out of your mind and move on. It's because May was so understanding and kind-hearted that she disappeared from my life. If only I hadn't said that what I said to her. So we're going on a guilt trip here about her fucking cat. That's just fucking amazing, isn't it? May, come back, please, May. Uh-oh. You never changed, do you? Mom? Mom, where are you? She's not here. Naomi? Uh, Psycho! Uh-oh. Psycho? Psycho, are you alright? I've been looking all over for you. I'm so sorry about before. She didn't respond, but she didn't have to. This was definitely Psycho. I can't see you very well. Come a little closer, please. Let me see your face. Let me see your face, bros. Please come a little closer. Yes. I drew in towards Psycho, who was sitting on the ground, and rested my head on her shoulder. Then I wrapped my arms around her. I still couldn't see her face. I thought it might be because of the dim light in the room. But no, that wasn't it. Something was very wrong here. Psycho wasn't moving an inch. And that's when I realized. Her skin was cold. Ah! She's dead? Wait, where at was I? Was I at home? Or was this heavenly host? The last thing I remember was frantically trying to find her again. I could smell incense from somewhere far off and finally realized that this wasn't reality. Pant, 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 pant! <laughs> Kishi. Now arriving at Kishi, Kishi Station. No. No, this person sitting perfectly still on the floor, not saying a word. That this is wasn't psycho. So who was it? Oh that's that's nice glowy eyes, I guess. That should be good in the dark. Naomi? Pant 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 When they within the unyielding dark this is so creepy. Within the unyielding darkness I knew that whoever it was talking. Whoever was taking safe Psycho's shape was coming towards me. <laughs> She's here. She's riding next to me. I can feel her breath. Uh, I can sense her presence. Who are you? I'm your friend. With a broken neck, remember? Oh god, it's the one from before. This is the future. Where you make me die. No! 
No! Why did you leave me by myself back there? After we finally managed to get back together too. I was so worried that I'd hurt you. So worried um, that's why things turn out this way. No, don't say that. As I lay there, stricken with grief, I heard the footsteps of a child approach. I look up and saw a little girl with a red dress standing over me. I hate that fucking bitch! Do you, do you want to save your friend, no matter what it takes? Who? What are you? I'm the one who controls the fate of this world. I had no clue what she meant by that. But I remember that she'd been giving me advice this whole time. She had a different air about her than the other spirits around. Than the other spirits around the school building, I felt like maybe she was on my side. I want to save her. Please, if there's some way to do it. Tell me how. I'll give you another chance to remember. Think hard. What you've just seen are events from your past, which is also the future. Though which your spirit now passes, so we're in the fourth dimension. In other words, this isn't the first time you've experienced this sequence of events, but you already knew that, didn't you? This sort of thing doesn't happen. It should have sounded like a com complete nonsense to me. Sorry. Oh my god. Psycho. But I didn't say a word. I just nodded. They were only fragments, but nonetheless, I was seeing crystal clear visions of what I could only assume was my first time experience these events. The sense of deja vu had been feeling, I'd be feeling just some crazy delusion or missing, misidentified nerve impulse in my brain. It was real. Then you've also already seen the trigger event from which you've dis your despair originated. So now you fight against this fated demise. Ah, Bucket! Hey, Bucket! How you doing, Bucket? That's great, Bucket. <laughs> when I came back to my senses, I find myself standing in the hallway on the third floor of the school building. Oh god, no. When did I get here? How long had I been here? I looked down and sure enough, there was puddles of black all around. It was that vicious fluid that I'd been spilling away out from inside me. A pulp pop pop in manifestation of dread spreading out across the floor. But this was no time to sulk. I had to find about. I had to think about Seiko. I left her all by myself again. I wonder if she's still in custodian's room. That sound. It was coming from the inside of the bathroom. God damn it! Not this again. There was a violent banging coming from one of the stalls with a lump in my throat, and sh I shivered down my spine. I slowly crept in to take a look. Oh boy. <laughs> There was an eerie stillness in the air within the girl's laboratory. It didn't feel like there was anyone else in there with me, but I sensed a slight movement on the third stall door from the back. Open it. Think about it. Eh. This was the source of all bad feelings and uncomfortable premonitions I'd been having. I knew what I was going to find. I remember this future. No. Please don't be psycho. This was the future I absolutely had to prevent from coming to pass. The image of what waited for me in the stall was burning my memory. Oh god. Oh god, no. No, 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 no! And now, it was now a reality. Psycho. Oh uh, god, no. Psycho, you're still alive! I'll save you! Oh god. There it was again. A flash of the sad future that I waited us if I made it the wrong move here. But there was still time. I could still save her. Hold on. I'll get you down. But how? Her noose was pretty high off of the ground. It needed some way to get up on the neck height in order to pull her down safely. Something to stand on. Uh, bucket I guess. I'll be right back, Psycho. I'm going to get somebody to stand on. I hurried out in the hallway to grab the bucket I'd seen sitting in front of their ground earlier. If I were to stand on that, I was certain I could reach Psycho's neck even on my height. 
Come on, just fucking grab it! There's rotten meat inside. Great. And maggots. Great. Just get it. Yes, just get it! Just go! Then do it! Oh god! Oh, she's still alive. Sake a whole cell, I'm gonna loosen the rope. Okay, we got her neck. This would work. I was gonna save her. I positioned my hand on Psycho's shoulder and began feeling around for the knot, but then. Oh, God. Damn it. Uh. No. <sighs> Her thin neck snapped easily. God, no, no, psycho. Psycho's neck was twisted unnaturally. Her arms and her legs hung limply and swayed back and forth with the momentum of my fall. She would struggle no more. No. No. No! I could still feel the sensations of what that last moment on my hand. I was responsible for this. I broke her neck. I killed Psycho. Ah! I clapped my hands on either side of my head and curled up in a fetal squat. This was all predis predestined to happen. It was an inescapable fate. But somehow, I should have been able to change it. Fear, despair, anger were all swirling around inside my head, and I couldn't do a thing to quell them. I knew what I was- I knew what was going to happen, I knew it, but I couldn't stop it. What the hell is wrong with me? I just went through the same emotions as before, I made the exact same mistakes, and now Psycho. Damn it! Son of a bitch! We got the wrong end, huh? Well, 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 well. <laughs> wrong end one. Where does it take us back, though? Where do we go? Really? So if I didn't save, I'd basically have to redo every fucking single thing. <laughs> okay, well, good thing I saved. Okay, here we are. Think of something else. Uh, uh, boobs. I mean, uh... No, I remember now. The bottom of the bucket is rusted. There must be some other way. Uh... Edgar farted, damn it. Uh... Seiko was trashing uh, Put it on your shoulders! All I could see as I watched her body ring her up was proof positive that she wanted to live. I'm going to save you, I swear. It was going to be alright. I could see the future. Fate was on my side for a change. Grab her booty, body! I knew I had to lift Saka's body into the air, loosing the pull on the rope so she could breathe. Unfortunately... Ugh. Oh, god damn it. Psycho inadvertently kicked m me square in the jaw. Damn it. The force of blow caused me to stumble and fall backwards. Psycho! Ah! She's really suffering. I have to hurry. Oh, uh, no, nah, damn it. Uh, god damn. 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 <sighs> damn it. Alright. Well, um. Let's do this right this fucking time. I we need to save her, bros. We can do it. God damn it, Edgar keeps farting though. It's fucking gross. You bros are lucky not to feel this fucking pain that I'm going through. All right, come on. Uh, something else. This resist the temptations of what this game puts in front of you and just hit something else. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right, think of something else, huh? All right, well, fuck it. 
No, wait, I remember this too. If I try to lift her, I'm just going to end up pulling down on her harder and breaking her neck. Ah! Psycho! What do I do? There has to be something else. Um. See, this is what I would do. Let's just do it. Okay. Poise drop on your shoulder. That was it. I needed to lift her higher up. I had in my back muscles and okay. This created enough. I took a step forward and actually pushed her into it, holding her into this place. Head wouldn't drop okay. Does that work? Does that work? <laughs> Splutter, cargle, cock, cock. Psycho, stay with me, breathe! We splutter. Breathe, breathe. We we pants. I'm gonna get you out of this rope now, okay? Just hold still. All the hair on my body was standing on the end. I actually did it. I averted fate. I prevented psycho step. Woo! High five, bros. <laughs> Sorry. I could feel it all through my being. I had just stepped into a new world. A new destiny. I, it was an odd sensation. My deja vu, my memories of that horrible future had ground to a halt. I had no idea what would happen from now on. It seems the only memories I retained from that other timeline was the ones relating to my dearest friend's demise. Seiko had stopped squirming and simply slumped over. Exhausted from the whole ordeal, I reached my hand up to her neck gently and carefully. And after a lot of fumbling, I, su uh, I successfully untied the knot on the rope. Weez, 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 pant! Peeling the, the slack noose off of Seiko's ne neck made a sort of crackling sound from each yonk. I was in awe on how much force that rope had exerted. It was painful just thinking about it. Up and through this morning, she was all smiles and laughter. She was always thinking about me and always so kind and outgoing. Why did something so horrible have to happen to her? But there was nothing to be afraid of anymore. Psycho now had now bypassed the sad fate that had previously awaited us. As long as the two of us were together, we'd make it through this. I looked down at Psycho, still breathing, and sobbed. I led Psycho out the stall and gently laid her down the bathroom floor. She was too weak to go any further just yet. Psycho, you idiot! Why would you try and hang yourself? I was so, so, so worried about you. You have no idea. I laid my head on her body. She was so warm. I was going to let her go again. I wasn't going to let her in let anyone take her away from me. It's okay. It's okay now. I'm sorry, Psycho. I will never leave you alone again. Well, Do you understand? Can you see me? It's me, Naomi. What? What is it? Psycho? Yeah. What's wrong? It's it's me. It's me. She's talking octopus language. Don't worry about it. Psycho wasn't acting like herself. She was regarding me as if she'd just seen a ghost. Her face was plainly painted with abject fear from the very depths of her soul. She stumbled to her feet clumsily, then hastily darted out the room. No! Psych Psycho? What? What? I, I don't understand. Why was she confused? Either way, I had to catch her. Oh god, no. What the fuck? Oh my god. Wait. Tell me what's wrong. It, it's me, Naomi! I kept pace with Seiko's frantic, unsteadily sprinting as she turned the corner and headed down the staircase and the- Oh god, 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 oh god! No... 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 Why? Why, Seiko? I saved you. I just saved you. <laughs> yeah.
you. Ah, it's me, El Serratian. Yeah. <laughs> oh, poor you. Poor you. Did you really think you could save her? Once someone fate passes through these halls, it locks its place forever. Don't you see? If your destiny is to die here, then that's what's going to happen. <laughs> no matter what. And the way you die will just keep getting worse and worse every time. <laughs> good girl, good girl. Don't worry. I'll gladly extract all your painful memories for now. This isn't your first time here after all, alright? <laughs> you have all the time in the world to savor all the new and speakable ways your friend can be. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Sorry. Such unbelievable cruelty. This was the inhuman malevolence, the likes of which I never imagined could exist. Oh God. Oh God. That's fucked up. Because of my own overzealous actions, Psycho wound up meeting a fate even worse than death by hanging. It's my fault. My fault. My tears began raining down on Seiko's cheek. And on her forehead, into her nose, into her mouth, into her eyes. But Seiko's eyes wouldn't close. Despite lacking the ability to focus anymore, she just kept staring right at me. Oh, Seiko. What are you looking at right now? What thoughts are going through your mind? Why did you run from me earlier? Why were you so afraid? But no matter how many times I asked these questions, Psycho just wouldn't answer. I told her we'd always be friends no matter what. That we'd always be together. Answer me! Please say something! Don't leave me alone. I could still feel the warmth from Psycho's head in my arms. But she was gone now. It was I was powerless. All I could do was scream. There was nothing else to do. Nothing would change. Not that the screaming held. All that did was echo back at me. As if mocking my bait. Oh, sorry. I felt like I was trapped in a cold, damp shell. Cell. I had no doubt in my mind that this was hell. Why did we have to put through this nightmare? God, I can't take it anymore. Get me out of here. Somebody please save me. That was fucking wonderful. <sighs> oh my god. Oh god. Oh Jesus. Oh my god. This game, that's corpse party for you. Jesus fucking Christ, man. Oh my god. Oh my god. This game is so insane. I forgot how fucking crazy it is. Well, that was a crazy ride. Uh, I hope you bros appreciated that this video was really long, but I also appreciate that you bros watched the whole thing with me. I think that's super cool of you. So thank you. I had a lot of fun hanging out with you bros today. That was really cool. And what's more exciting about it is that we have a lot of more chapters in front of us. So. If you bros appreciated this thing, please show your support by liking and favoriting and sharing this video. Uh, because that means I can do more of them and uh, we have a lot in front of us. So, thank you bros for being a bro and showing your support. Thank you for watching. As always, we'll see you in the next one. Stay awesome, bros. <laughs>